Local device manufacturers have always been eager to compete with the more prominent international competitors by venturing into different product lines to battle with, from high-end smartphones, wearables, and even tablet hybrids. And Oplus is most definitely one of the companies who took a lot of guts by introducing new products to a market that may find these releases a bit unfamiliar. The Oplus Tag and Oplus Time wearables hit the market few months back and now, Oplus is at it again. A Windows 8 laptop and tablet hybrid, the Oplus Convertible. Is Oplus' first take on this product category is a success? Let's figure that out in our full review. The Oplus Convertible consists of two hardware, the actual tablet, and the attachable keyboard. This is really an understatement to call the included keyboard as an accessory, as a lot of the features that the whole device can showcase is only accessible with the tablet's accomplice. But before we get onto the other half of the device, let's break down first the bits and pieces of the actual crown of the device, the tablet itself. We do have a large 11.6 inch HD screen on front, together with the 2 megapixel front facing camera. We can also notice a pretty thick bezels on this one, something that is disturbingly chunky for a tablet, but pretty conventional to today's laptop and tablet hybrids. The right side is clean, while the left side has the volume controls, the home button, and the micro HDMI port. At the top, we got a 3.5mm headphone jack, a built in microphone, and the lock and power switch with an LED power indicator integrated. At the bottom, we got the slots and contact for the keyboard, a USB 2.0 port, and a micro USB port for charging. At the back, we have a 2 megapixel camera, stereo speakers, a micro SD card slot which is capable of up to 128GB, and the Oplus logo. The back panel has this metallic look finish, although it feels more like plastic. But nevertheless, it still gives an elegant look to the device with a horizontal design accent that passed through the company's logo, which may appeal to the professionals out there. Despite having two drivers, the built-in speakers on this one is disappointing. There's not enough volume on this one, which only made worse by having it placed at the back of the device, rather than having it on front, so users can fully use its potential. Taking a look at the latter part of the device, we see a chiclet-style keyboard. Nope, it is not wireless like what we see on a lot of these type of devices. But what we do have here is a tilting contact at the upper part of the accessory, which utilizes the use of magnets to securely connect the primary device. Once the two are intertwined, the Oplus convertible really looks like a full-fledged laptop PC. We also have the touchpad on front. The interface has a pretty decent size on it, although the sensitivity is a bit lacking. It may require some few more swipes before you can reach that close button at the left, high up there. Taking a tour, the left side of the keyboard contains all of your I.O. ports, the two USB 2.0 ports, and the AC power adapter port for alternative charging. And that's it, all of the other sides are clean. Also, the 500GB hard disk drive is also situated on the keyboard, perfect to store all your medias like movies, music, and photos. Since the actual tablet only has 32GB of available storage, with more or less 23GB of usable space. This also proves how vital is the actual keyboard on the overall usage of the device, as you need to always snap it to the actual tablet to access all of your files. With the keyboard attached, the device still feels very compact thanks to its appropriate dimensions. Although the weight on this one is really noticeable, even just by carrying the actual tablet is a bit tiring. But hey, it is a laptop hybrid, not just a tablet per se. Overall, the Oplus convertible's design is pretty sturdy and appealing in the eyes. Although having this type of keyboard is not without its pros and cons. For the good part, the convertible can sit firmly on any desk or can be easily used on your lap. Something that is a little hard to accomplish on, let's say, the Microsoft Surface Pro 3, which has an almost paper thin keyboard and made with soft material. But on the downside, the keyboard adds some weight and thickness on the device. But nevertheless, at least for me, the keyboard is a very good inclusion. 
The Oplus Convertible sports an 11.6 HD display with 1366 by 788 resolution and has 133 pixels per inch. Judging by the figures, it is pretty evident that this one doesn't offer top class display. Full HD displays with 1080p resolution is probably the standard in today's market. But considering the device's price tag, limitations are really expected and some sacrifices must be made. The display may not be the best of all, but still able to get the job done. Looking at a distance makes individual pixels less visible, thus making it look sharp. Well, devices with such large displays are meant to be looked at this amount of distance anyway. Texts from different websites or any other reading materials look pleasant in the eyes. Gaming, watching movies, and consuming other media also provides decent experience on this one. It is also large enough to type decently using the on-screen keyboard. The Oplus Convertible's display also has a pretty average glass that's protecting it. There are a lot of visible glares and reflections, although the actual display panel was still able to pop out nicely, thus providing some pretty impressive viewing angles. The Oplus Convertible is running under Intel Atom C3735F, a 32-bit quad-core processor with a clock speed of 1.3GHz and has 2GB of RAM. Processing performance have been decently fast and snappy. Boot-up time is about 15 seconds on average. Applications starts affably fast and playing games that have been downloaded in the Microsoft market have been a breeze with no visible frame drops or lags. The Opus Convertible doesn't brag a muscular hardware, but for its intended use, the device can really deliver. You really can't expect some intense gaming on this one. Photoshop CC is possible for basic photo editing to some average photo manipulation. Although, expect a bumpy ride as some stutters may occur from time to time. But nevertheless, I was able to process an entire photo on this one. We got Windows 8.1 that's governing this device, which comes with a hefty amount of pre-installed applications that are thankfully can be uninstalled. I just wish that Oplus included Microsoft Office on this one, or at least a one-year free subscription since this device is targeted to office workers and students who are expected to use this device primarily for document editing, PowerPoint presentations, and even spreadsheets. But luckily, there are a lot of free alternatives available, like this one from LibreOffice, which provides an alternative to Microsoft's Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. For those who are worried, the document files that you can create on this one is also compatible to Microsoft's actual softwares. Speaking of user interface, the UI on this one is something that we have known and loved. Navigating through the tiles, widgets, and the application list is still as a breeze as before. Swiping from the left side of the screen reveals all your recent apps. You can open one by swiping it to the center of the display or dismiss it by swiping it downwards. Multi-window is also present for those hardcore multitasker out there. I still wish though that this would also work with those applications opened on the desktop. I would love to open two web pages and view them concurrently. Oplus is set out on the laptop-tablet hybrid really did please me. The portability it provides is something to adore, perfect for business people who are always on the go, or for students that always cram in doing projects and other paperwork, especially during the finals term. All the power and productivity that the Windows 8 has is sandwiched on this compact and easy-to-carry machine. Although the competition is too stiff for the Opus convertible, there are a lot of rival companies and even international manufacturers who are now also offering range of similar devices under this category at a different cutthroat prices. But as for the convertible, the device's large 11.6 HD display, elegant design, a quad-core processor, spacious 500GB of storage, and an included keyboard dock may justify its 15995 price tag. But of course, it is not without its shortcomings. The disappointing camera and speaker volume may cause an impact to some, and also the average battery life, and the lack of free and essential softwares. To wrap it up, I think this device is really designed for people who wants to get the basic work done. And for what it is intended to do, I think the Oplus Convertible was able to make the cut. 
This has been Noi Piggy's review of the Oplus Convertible. For a more detailed look about this device, you may check out our full written review link below. Make sure to also hit the thumbs up button and share this video if you liked it. And also subscribe if you still haven't. Thank you for watching.